Hello friends, welcome to Vikas Academy. Today we will be discussing the Governor General, you know, Lord Wellesley. Lord Wellesley came to office in 1798 and uh, remained in office till 1805, right? And we have to remember the important events during, uh, you know, Lord Wellesley so that you can answer all questions in exam. So let's begin. You see, first thing is that you have to understand subsidiary alliance. Okay? What is subsidiary alliance? You see, in uh, British time, the princely states were in a desperate situation for their protection. They need army. And the army will be provided by Lord Wellesley. Army will be provided by Lord Wellesley, or you can say simply British East India Company. But the princely state have to maintain that army in terms of salary, in terms of other requirements by army or protection force or military force. And if the princely states fail to maintain army, then under subsidiary alliance, those princely states will come under British Empire, come under East India Company. Right? This is your subsidiary alliance, which was introduced by Lord Wellesley. Right? So, subsidiary alliance, and first state to accept subsidiary alliance was Nizam of Hyderabad. Nizam of Hyderabad was the first princely state to accept subsidiary alliance in 1798. And just next year, Mysore accepted this subsidiary alliance. Right? Later on, Avad also accepted subsidiary alliance in 1802. These are things you have to remember for exam point of view. Nothing else. Right? Avad in 1801. So, it is zero, right? So, this is all about your subsidiary alliance. Now, we'll talk about Fort William College. You see, Fort William College was established to impart training to civil servants, right? Or simply, you can say, civil servants uh, got training in Hindi and Urdu language in this college. So, Hindi and Urdu language. Hindi and Urdu language. Okay. Hindi and Urdu language were taught to civil servants in this college, Fort William College. Right? During Lord Wallace. Now, we will talk about Madras Presidency. You see, you know, Bengal Presidency, Bombay Presidency, Madras Presidency, you know, here, you have to remember, Madras Presidency was created during Lord Wellesley, right? This is the point. Now, we will talk about a uh, few wars and battles. You see, let's start here. Battle of Pune. You see, Battle of Pune was fought in 1802, right? And if you want the date, 25th October, 1802, right? And after Battle of Pune, one treaty was signed on 31st December 1802, which is known as Treaty of Basin. Treaty of Basin. Question may be asked. The Treaty of Basin was signed uh, during which battle? So answer is Battle of Pune. <coughs> or question may be asked. Treaty of Basin was signed during the time of which of the following Governor Generals of Bengal? So, Lord Wellesley. So, you have to remember this. Now, we we'll talk about Fourth Anglo Mysore War. You see, Fourth Anglo Mysore War was fought in 1799 between East India Company and Tipu Sultan. Right? Tipu Sultan. And in this uh, war, Tipu Sultan died. Right? So in 4th Anglo Mysore War, Tipu Sultan died. You know, Hyder Ali was father of Tipu Sultan, right? 
so each dinner company was victorious in this war. Now we talk about second Maratha war, which happened in 1803-1805 for two years between East India Company and Maratha. And simply you have to remember East India Company was the winner. Right? This is all about your law policy. I hope you got this point. Simply you have to remember the points, whatever in this flowchart, nothing else. Wish you happy learning. Thank you very much.